Often, when we're working from bottom cross side and we're trying to replace our guard, people forget to go and hook the leg in, in order to ensure that they're in half guard. Allow me to demonstrate. If Jason has me in top cross side from here, what I need to do is, in order to escape is keep my hands on the inside and then I need to bridge up here and then bring my hips away to shrimp out and then bringing my knee and my elbow together just like this. Can you sit up for a moment please Jason? So my elbow and knee are just like this. From here, once I'm at this stage, I need to push away with my shin, get here parallel with his spine, my spine is parallel with Jason's spine, and then this foot goes over his back and then down to hook his leg. This is so important to do. This is so important to do. A lot of people forget to do that final stage of hooking the shin. So even if here Jason's in top cross side, I'm able to bridge out, I get to this position here, what happens is that Jason goes and pushes on my knee with this hand. Here he just keeps on passing, keeps on passing, and then I'm back to where I'm starting. So what I need to do is I need to hook his leg. So from here, keep my hands safe, bridge out, get my knee inside, and then I put my foot right here, right away. From here, as Jason keeps on trying to pass, which he typically will, I'll be able to go and get my half guard with ease. So be sure to hook that leg with your heel.